Good morning, afternoon, or evening, dear yogis here at Yoga TX. This is Echo on a very sunny morning <laughs> in the UK, which is not so common. So it might get a little sunny here in our video, but um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the warmth and the birds singing. So I will, I will take it in and let's hope that the sun allows you to still uh, to see this, this lovely practice this morning. <sighs> Let's all just take a collective sigh <laughs> out. <sighs> so today's practice is inspired by, you know, the idea of overwhelm. Um, life can be challenging. Life is challenging to be a human being, to be in this body, to be in this body that is aging, to be in the seasons, to be in the noise, to be in the textures and the temperatures and the smells uh, as sensitive beings, as sentient beings, as feel feeling beings. We feel so much and sometimes it can be a bit difficult. So this practice is for those moments that we are feeling overwhelmed or maybe underwhelmed where we are just frozen and to bring us out of that space. So that being said, we're going to get right to it and start standing today. So as we stand, let's give a little shake. You can turn from side to side. Mm. Flick the hands. And come to standing and do some knee circles. We're doing some mobility. Right knee first. Right knee bent up towards the chest. Open it out. Open in the other direction. There's no perfect way for this to look. We're just getting into the body. And let's move to the left side. Big circles, big mobility circles. <sighs> Let out any sounds in opposite direction. Beautiful. Come back to center. Let's bring the feet wide, one facing forward, one facing back. Sink nice and deep into the knees. Let the arms kind of hang out. Nice long spine and just kind of wobble from side to side. We're opening into the hips and we're doing a bit of mobility today that's not perfectly yogic. And in these like different rigid asana structures, you can just kind of move around. So maybe you want to get your shoulders involved. Maybe you want to get your arms involved. And kind of like you're swimming backwards. And let's drop into the right knee, to the right side, hands to heart. Left leg extends, left toes pointing up, sink down. The right heel can be popped up. Hands to the earth, move through center to the left side. Extend the right leg, right toes point up. And we're just going to take a couple of rounds like that. Move through center, right side. And you can drop the right hand down, left arm reaching up. And then move again through center to the left side. Left hand can be down, right arm reaching up. And move to the right side. <sighs> mm. And the left side. And let's come through center. So you can come into a prasarita, so a wide fold. And you're going to fold right down, nice and wide. Let the hips be square if you can. Drop down. And let's inhale. Come up halfway. Keep the right hand planted. Left arm stretches up. Get nice and long. Twisting open towards the left side. And bring the left hand down. Right arm reaches up nice and open. Open the chest. Hips are square. 
and bring the right hand down. Let's bend the knees out towards the sides, sink the hips. Hands to heart center, sitting up nice and tall through the spine. Yogi squat. Rosie, what are you doing? <laughs> I have a friend coming to visit. <laughs> Rosie, will you shut the door for me, please? Thank you, my love. See you in a bit. <laughs> this is my wonderful friend's daughter. She came to peek in to see what we were doing. So sitting up nice and tall. Life. <laughs> Lift the hips, go nice and wide, and grab opposite elbows. Let the head drop in. And this is the beauty about sharing my own practice, is that life is real, you know? There are airplanes outside, there are ducks, there are children running around. Life is not perfect, and so it is important for you as well as me to be okay with that. To breathe through the interruptions, to breathe through the chaos, to... Find a way to meditate in the wildness and the, ah, the inconsistency of life. Let the hands come down. Take an inhale. Slowly roll up. Slight bend the knees. Come all the way up. Shrug the shoulders back a few times. Shrug the shoulders forward a few times. Mm, beautiful. So let's come to standing at the top of the mat. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. The head drop in. Take an inhale, come all the way back up. Nice and slow back bend. And exhale, fold forward. Lengthening that back line. Inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart this time. Pull the right knee in towards the chest. Left hand to the outside of the right knee. Right arm reaching open to the right side. Twisting here. Maybe you want to extend the right leg. Take a hold of the outside of the right foot with the left hand. Nice and tall. And take an inhale, lift both arms, keep the right leg lifted. Now this is gonna get tricky. Exhale, we're gonna fold, bend the right knee, place the right foot into the air behind you, lift it, hands to the earth. Bend the right knee back behind you and reach back with the left hand and try to pull the right foot in. Keep the right knee lifting up, drop the head down. It's a balancing pose. If you fall out, just come back in. And again, how comfortable can we stay in a bit of chaos and challenge? And set the right foot down, left hand down. Let's take an inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful. Pull the left knee into the chest, right hand to the outside of the left knee, left arm reaching back, twisting open. Maybe you want to take a hold of the outside of the left foot with the right hand. Open up. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, smoothly bend the left knee. Reach the arms forward and down, left leg reaching up behind you, fold in. Bend the left knee back behind you, keep the left hand to balance. Right hand meets the left foot, pull in. Left knee lifts up and let the head drop down. And slowly let everything come down. Bend the knees, come onto the tiptoes, sink the hips, and come to seated, seating. <laughs> seated, seated, sitting. I'm gonna grab my tea. Mm. 
stretch the legs out in front. And we're going to come into a Pachimottanasana. Take a nice long inhale through the spine. And exhale, slowly fold forward. If you have props, I have some blocks. I'm going to bring them here to build up some space for my forehead to relax. You can also use a couch cushion. But keep the spine straight. Only fold as deeply as the body allows. So listen to your body. If your breath is constrained in and out of the nostrils, this might be telling you you're going a little bit too deep. You can come up a little bit, straighten the spine, and find a spot that feels comfortable. Let's peel the chest up. Props off to the side. Bend the knees, bring the hands behind you, fingers tracking forward, plant the feet, Lift the hips, reverse tabletop, let the head drop back. And set the hip down, or the hips. Let's come down onto the back, pull the knees in. And rock from side to side. Wind relieving pose, a very interesting name. Apanasana. So if we've got any belly or digestion issues, sometimes this can be that place where we wring that out. Take the feet down. Move my props to the side. And you want the feet to be about hip width distance apart. Let the knees drop to the right so there's space between the knees. Open the arms like goal, goal post, and look towards the left. Come back through center, knees drop to the left, look to the right. back through center. Lift the legs straight up. We're letting the energy draw back into the core. You can bring hands to the belly. Nothing miraculous needs to happen here. Just legs up. And if you want to use a prop, you can use a block underneath the hips to create a bit more of a 45 degree angle from the blood into the hips into the uh, belly. You can also use a couch cushion or a bolster. And remove the block. Let the legs come down and the arms take up space and come into a mini Shavasana. So you can stay here as long as you'd like. You might want to pause the video. I'll be here with you for the next two minutes or so. 
But Shavasana is so important. When you do these shorter practices online, I really encourage you at the end to just pause, to give yourself five to seven minutes just to be held. Maybe bring the right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to the right shoulder, and actually just hold yourself here. How often for so many of us that feel lonely and for many of us that are surrounded by people, how often do we feel so unheld? It's a very common theme in the human experience. So how beautiful that we can be held by the earth beneath us, held by our, our own arms. Let's take some moments of stillness and silence here, just holding. deep gratitude and love to each of us on our journey. You can let the arms relax if you'd like or bring them to the belly, but soon enough my voice will t trail off and I encourage you to just stay in the posture for as long as you need. Let your body be held. May we each feel yeah, seen and loved and acknowledged in our practices and give ourselves the nourishment that we need that most likely we're not receiving externally in the way that we, we would like. Deep gratitude to each of you on your journeys and namaste.